Hi, my name's Keith Cooper from North Flight Images and in this uh, short video I'm going to look at printing on poster board with this the Epson P5300, P5370 in the States, other numbers in some other regions. It's based on the Epson P5000 chassis but the print head and the ink system are that of the P700, P900. That means that um, I have used a P5000 uh, several times for printing on poster board. So I'm not expecting any surprises whatsoever from this. Now, I've looked at poster board when I did a review of the P5000, but thing to remember about poster board, and this is if you've seen some of my other videos of this, you may notice that the, uh, the, the, the printer has been turned round from its normal position against the wall. That is because with poster board, you load it from the front, it goes in, it goes straight through, there's a straight through print path, and it comes out the back here. And it comes out far enough, and this is a box for a two poster board, uh, that if you've got it against the wall, it will bang very hard against the wall and uh, not do the printer or the poster board much good. So you have to have considerable amount of free space. Now, I've still got a roll loaded here. Well, I say it, it is on the spindle. It is not loaded in the printer. So the printer doesn't know it's there. Um, you, can, you don't need to take the roll out or do anything like that to use the straight through print path. Uh, one minor issue with the straight through print path is that because of the way the uh, media is fed through, there is a larger margin at the trailing edge and there is no such thing as borderless on poster board. You can't do borderless and you will have a larger margin at the back here. Now, I get a sheet of this. I'm just going to print um, a photo that I know works well. This particular one is enhanced matte poster board, so it's equivalent to the enhanced matte paper, but much thicker. Now, this one here, it's actually double-sided. And uh, let me just get a sheet out of this and a sheet ready to print. So here's sheet. I've not loaded it yet. Um, it's, just check there's no obvious curl in it. I'll print it this way up since there is a slight bit of bend in it. Um, if you're putting thick media through here, do make sure there's no twist turned up corners or anything like that because you're likely to get head strikes and the like. Um, it has a vacuum system, but it's card, so keeps it in. If you're printing on other forms of card, make sure it is card intended for inkjet printing. If you hear something described as cardstock, and particularly if it's described as something like, you know, 120 pound cardstock, uh, that's a designation only heard of in the US, uh, doesn't mean anything over here. But typically, if you see something called cardstock, it is probably not coated for inkjet use. That means, yes, you print, but you get awful quality prints. So be careful if you want to print card on this that you do use ink jet media because uh, get the, get that wrong you'll just waste a sheet of cardboard anyway i've got the image queued up i'm going to print from photoshop now i could equally well print from epson print layout here works just fine i just happen to have photoshop on that laptop and it's easy to print it in terms of printer profile i'm using the um, epson p5300 in um, epson enhanced matte profile, which is Epson's own profile for this, which is one of Epson's own papers. Um, it doesn't need a custom profile. I don't have an enhanced matte profile. I haven't made one for that, but the Epson profiles so far that I've seen on this work just fine. But anyway, I'm going to go to the computer, tell it to this, and then follow the instructions on the screen. Printing from the, the Photoshop dialog here, got my media settings all okay, everything sorted for that. So all I need to do here is just press print. As I've said before, it's not the fastest of laptops, so it's going to take a while processing an image this size. And uh, once it does, I'll get a little warning from the printer here. Now the printer, I've not set anything on it. So it's still set at its previous settings, which was Epson Premium Luster. You can hear there's a, a warning light come on and it is telling me. Poster board is not loaded. 
Load poster board. Print settings A2 enhanced mat. Uh, I can cancel that or I can go set. So I didn't set anything on the printer here before it. I now get a little guide here that shows me about loading. I should make sure everything looks flat there. Now I'm going to load this in, pushing it through, and I need to line it up fairly broadly against, there are some marks on the, on the platen here, on the output, and it really is not that precise. Uh, there's no hard guides to put it against, so I'm just really making sure that the edge is properly lined up here. Well, the printer is, uh, the paper is loaded. It's not at an angle. I'm fairly sure that's good and straight. Um, we'll just press OK. Now, when you, when it loads this uh, media, it lifts the rollers at the back. So there's a free entry here. That's it telling me, oh, paper, it's, an, <laughs> it's now asking me for paper type. Paper type is not premium glossy. It is Epson enhanced matte and the paper size is A2. So I now have poster board enhanced matte A2. So there you have all the sequence I had to go through for getting this. It's checking the width, it's drawn it in. It's coming out the back here. The board's been moved back in and it's at the normal start position for printing. Um, let's see, it's out here, it's sticking out a good foot out the back here and it comes out slightly further when it goes. So you do need, I would say at least, out from the back of the printer, you do need at least ooh, 50 centimeters or so. Right, well, it's printing. Process there was very slightly different to how I remember it on the P5000 because the display is different. Um, the actual mechanics of what's going on inside here is exactly the same as the P5000 and I know that prints board like this absolutely perfectly. Looks just fine, just, just like any other print. So here's the print well on its way. I would note it that there are rollers along the front here, uh, so-called uh, pizza wheel rollers, and they are touching the print. So with this surface, there's no problem of it. If you're printing on a media which doesn't dry well, um, take care with the settings on this. Um, I believe there are settings, I'm not sure for poster board, you'll need to read the manual for this one. I believe there are settings to reduce the uh, a feed here but this is the way it works it needs some means of getting the paper out so if you have a paper with a particularly sensitive surface it's possible there may get you may and it doesn't dry well you may get some marks that's just something you're going to have to experiment with remember there has to be something to move the paper the card precisely through the printer while the head goes back with the force puts those droplets there is precision required in the movement of the head, but there is also precision required in the movement of the media. And, uh, you know, some things you can't get away with. Well, it's looking good. It tells me that it's finished printing. The paper will be removed. There we go, press the button and it releases. And there we go, what's it warning me about now? Cannot start cleaning when paper thick is loaded, remove it. Yeah, well, there we go, doesn't really matter. Um, for some reason it had decided it wanted to do a cleaning or something, who knows? There's printers for you, they're like computers, they do that sort of stuff. Um, so, there we go, one poster board print. Very good, perfectly good print, as printed on Epson Enhanced Matte. Now, I picked this image because I know it works on a paper or you know, on a surface like this, but um, yeah, nothing to it. Um, just take care, 
do read the manual, all the little bits and pieces about using this. Um, I quite deliberately didn't set anything up, just went through it and it warned me, it told me, it gave me the procedure for going through for loading stuff. I didn't try loading the paper or the card first or anything like that. Uh, you saw the processes I had to go through. If you were to load it up from the front panel first, everything would be just that bit quicker. But I thought it'd be easier just to show you what happens if you just try and load it without doing anything. Anyway, if you've got any questions, please do let me know. Um, I've got this here for a while and uh, I will be having a, a full written review for it as well. But these videos I'm just doing covering different aspects of using the printer. So there you have it, poster board printing. So thanks for watching and oh, please do subscribe to the channel if you found it of interest. Thank you.